quick tip today for um, working with PLA. Uh, we have an issue of storing PLA because this stuff likes to absorb water, which will return into bad printing behaviors and a brittle structure and very often me personally i found this i guess you guys too uh that when you take a spool of uh, pla and you prepare it for your printer you prepare the uh, open end you can already feel mm, this is getting a little bit a little bit strong you bend it and then you already feel bob this is cracking straight off so that's an indicator for there's too much moisture in there. There's ways of you can fix this, fix this. So you could dry this by putting it in the oven uh, for an hour at a temperature below the melting temperature, obviously. Um, but usually you can do that. Today I just want to show you how to prevent it actually from happening. And that involves putting it in a proper bag. Um, what we got here is a vacuum machine. A special vacuum bag and our spool. I already prepared, prepared the right size of bag for this. So what we do or what this is, it's actually it's it's an open bag, both sides open. It uh, comes on this, few meters of that and you can make it exactly the right size that you want. So it's super 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 easy. You just put that in and for some reason, <laughs> these guys have exactly the right size. Not smaller, not bigger, but I would say perfect size for this. Okay, so you take your machine, you open it up, and what we have here is one line which uh, melts the plastic, the bag, for sealing it up, and zip this zone here, where you put the opening in and there's some holes. I got one here uh, where the air gets sucked out and creates the vacuum. So you have to put your open end into this uh, area. Hit the uh, vacuum button, one of the two. There's different options usually. If you just want to do vacuum sealing or both at the same time. Usually we try to do this, doesn't work 100%. Um, so sometimes you just hit the two buttons behind um after another okay so we start by closing one of the sides this is pretty straightforward so just make sure you put it uh onto this line push it close it until you hear the snaps and then just hit the uh, ceiling button what i like to do because it's just an effort of doing it uh, a second time. You can see perfectly close. I like to do it just a second or third time because this doesn't cost anything. And just in case it wasn't perfect, you just have uh, yeah more safety, a second line of uh, safety here for the bag to really be tight. Okay. Perfect, two lines, very nice. By the way, don't touch it, it's hot. Um, all right, so bag is in and you can see we have plenty of meat still left for uh, sealing it up. What I like to do is putting in some additional uh, silica gel pads. Uh, you guys all know this from uh, ordering stuff online. Usually they put stuff in there. Uh, these absorb moisture and uh, pretty pretty cheap. You can even reuse them also by putting them in the oven getting all the uh, water out and then using it again These are fresh and new uh, out of the box. So no water in them Just add them into your bag. They will absorb any uh, moisture that is maybe left there so we Put this in here just as mentioned between the two uh, ceiling lines here into the uh, open part put it in make sure you don't have uh, waves or wrinkles in here uh, these will run, you will run in some issues with that uh, the machine won't be able to properly seal this okay again closing snap snap and this time we do the double button for um, evacuating the 
air and sealing straight after that so the machine knows when it's getting tough all the air is out and then it automatically changes to sealing Okay, so the machine is done. It noticed it's uh, <laughs> getting difficult to get more air out and then it automatically seals the bag. So now we can open it and it's pretty much done. Since this spool is almost empty, <laughs> it gets deformed a little bit, but that's just the roll and they are uh, strong enough to withstand that. So perfectly done. I like to do it, uh, seal it up a second time so just uh, first it was here just move it out a little bit and then I also give it a second line of uh, sealed up welded up uh, back so the second line in there perfectly done perfectly sealed no moisture in there no air in there so you can keep this wherever you want now could even throw this into water the pla is safe super easy i hope you like this quick tip uh, give me a thumbs up tell me what you like to do to prepare your uh, material and prevent it to stay all right have a good time enjoy bye bye